Hey, what is up everyone? My name is Guillaume. My name is Chris. Welcome to Thomas Guitars and Basses to this absolutely mind-blowingly original idea of Guess the Original. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start the video like that. It's fun. It's, it's gonna fun. be fun. I didn't say it's not gonna be fun, <laughs> but uh, you know, we've seen a couple of comparisons and whatever. But um, we have an awesome studio with some incredible mics and people who know how to use them. Yes. So we thought, hey, why not giving you a really good, well recorded um, and mixed um, version of this awesome idea of having the actual original reissue, yes. like currently available version of the Bluesbreaker, the TS-808, Ivan S. Tube Screamer, and the MXR Carbon Copy, and their affordable uh, counterparts. Counter so uh, the first round is? The first one is going to be a Bluesbreaker against the, so the, the Marshall ratio of the uh, Bluesbreaker against the Bluesman by Tone City. Uh, Chris is going to wear that abomination over there. <laughs> He's going to be playing because it's also important for him to get a feel for the pedal yes. oh, yeah. more so than just yeah. the sound in the room. For you guys, it's just going to be sound based. Yeah. So yeah. brace yourselves. And, and that's a very important point, actually, because whenever someone says, like, every second pedal sounds like the clone, yeah. it can be tweaked to sound very similar, yeah, totally, especially through your YouTube video, yeah. yes, but the player usually doesn't say anything about how, you know, how yeah. similar they felt, and they usually do not feel any, any close. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's what I am looking forward to here, to feel like, is there any uh, dynamic difference, you know, if I play a certain way or... Does it react to the volume pod in a certain way? Whatever it is, you know, I'll, I'll see. Yeah. Well, and, I won't. Uh, he's going to do hear. so by doing <laughs> as many key changes as possible while blindfolded. Without seeing what the hell I'm doing. Uh, today, All right. Today's word of the day is jazz. That's <laughs> jazz. Great. Free jazz, baby. Um, so, okay. I, I, oh my for, God. for reference, uh, the, the, I did a little bit of toe matching between the pedals, which Where's my would pick? explain why the knobs oh, no. are in different position. But you guys won't know about that. Do I have a pick somewhere? Nope. Oh, oh finger picked. <laughs> no. Key change. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> I lost my pick. I have one more. Okay, let's go. All right. So the amp is the V40 Deluxe Victory Awesomeness and uh, the, the fitting 2x12 cab with two Selection Queen Max 65 speakers. Finally, I was not able to. <laughs> give a little bit of a, <laughs> give, give so a little bit of clean reference for the people. Yes. Jazz. Jazz. All Free right. Jazz. Blues breaker number one. Okay. Let us go. Let us go. <laughs> <laughs> Which pedal did we turn on? switched. Like this one, no, go back. Yeah. This one, yeah. I think I, I definitely like this one more, and I hope it's the original. Can I remove it? Yes, you can. I will so laugh, it's not. <laughs> oh, it okay, is. well done. Okay, but I needed I don't know how many five rounds of back and forth, and sometimes I switch while you were playing. Yeah, I've heard I, that. <laughs> I've heard that. I, I didn't pay attention at that point, I was just, just trying to 
feel it much more than hear it. Yeah. Because honestly, the, the, the tone is it's like... A, it's a minimal change. Barely um, any difference, but this one has a, a roundness, fullness to it. Yeah. Especially in neck pickup when you dig in, like do the, the clunk, 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 you know, that, that thing. Yeah. This one just had a bit more of that, that joy, that richness that mm. I love about the circuit. Well done. <laughs> I was worried. Well done. How did worried. you guys do? Did you know from the start as well? Or was it more of as a... As well? More of a, I didn't. <laughs> more of a pickle. Uh, but yeah. Tube, tube, tube scream me. Pedal number one. <coughs> Okay. Last one? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Again. <laughs> Okay, I, I think that's the Harley Benton and the other one is the TS. So the last one was the Harley Benton. Yeah. I th I th it, you yeah. know how it is with, with your gut feel. Yeah. It, you should trust it usually. Yeah, I think so, yeah. I think that was it. Okay. <sighs> okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, same thing. Well played. Honestly, I've seen what I've did uh, there and I, I still wasn't sure which one I, I would honestly, choose. Honestly, it took me forever. The first part, I wasn't even paying attention to the sound because it was me trying to remember where I was eye on the neck. <laughs> and that yeah. was super confusing. Oh, yeah. But then the last couple of chords, I could kind of hear a difference in the high end, the, the Harley Benton being a bit harsher in the treble, uh, which I'm, I'm assuming Generally, is, just a bit wider, yeah, right? A yeah. bit more low end, a bit yeah. more... Trouble. Yeah, again, probably trying to compensate for the tube screamers in here and sort of... Uh, hump in the mid range. That narrow, the, so, narrowness. Yeah. yeah uh, but <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy a, it's, how how good they are. Like I would yeah, buy oh, any. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. And yeah. Uh, yeah, but the the I know for a fact the vintage overdrives also have more gain. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh on yeah. Tap. Like overdrive on the tube screamer. Yeah. Three quarters up at least. Yeah. And then on the uh, the Harley oh, under twelve o'clock. Yeah. And somehow that high gain thing in the same manner as the bluesman and blues breaker, I feel also give that impression of less headroom, less hairy sort of airiness in the in the sound and the fact that you have to push the overdrive more on the tube screamer to get to the same sort of ballpark makes a, a pretty big difference frequency wise so yeah yeah uh, yeah, yeah pretty I'm, I'm fairly happy with myself not yeah, gonna man. lie yeah and by the way we are connecting the pedals um, in a row so that's not very scientific but all three of the first pedals because uh, there's going to be a third round just in a sec, uh, are true bypass. So there's no buffer in the first pedal. So what the second pedal sees is actually the the cable, the guitar. This is, All of it's which not is existing. very high quality cordial cables. Yeah, and by a, the way, yes. And an average, you know, your run of the mill Telecaster. Yeah, so. exactly. And an even uh, worse player. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of. Speaking of worst game player. Where's the name? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I love you. You're a great player. The banter uh, is real. <laughs> let's, let's do a delay round. This is going to be the MXR carbon copy version. Oh, yeah, we forgot to say it. Yeah, the TC Electronic Bucket Brigade. So these two babies. I know this one. I've never played this one and uh, this is going to be first in row this is true bypass again same yeah. story as with all the other pedals uh, i'll let g patch up everything and then uh, put on the that wonderful blindfold why i start dry and then you can turn on the first pedal cool. okay okay let's go mm -hmm. 
Start with a G, because, you know. Ready? Little number one, yes. Three, two, one. Yes, 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 yes. That's quite some modulation there. Okay, the okay. other pedal, yeah. Would you like to have one round without modulation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Okay, the other. Uh, this is softer in the repeat, so I think that's the carbon copy. But honestly, if it was the other way around, I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. Well okay. done. Okay, okay. That, that we're good at this. Yeah, I don't it's know what's up today. Easy. I don't know what's up today. Today we have ears that actually don't betray us. Um, honestly, I, I loved both. Uh, can you turn on the modulation again? I'm yeah. going to just compare them because the, the one of them was really, really mm. heavy on modulation. Yeah. Okay, the other? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was guessing that it's the, the carbon copy that's heavier yeah. on the modulation. I know that you can, I think there's a, a trim pot inside that can uh, oh, change Oh, and even the, just like, you, you know, the depth of the modulation on the Bucket Brigade is way low. Like way low, could, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We could put that at unity. 12 o'clock is probably like original. Even more. Honestly, it's just that, that softness, that, that super mm. sweet, thing about the carbon copies uh, repeats which doesn't make it usable for very rhythmic stuff but it's yeah. the reason why it's just an always on kind of delay because you just turn on and it doesn't get a new way it can act as a, almost as a reverb yeah. love that but uh, honestly good job tc i mean yeah, yeah, that's yeah it was really close like even myself as just a listener and like knowing which pedal was on when i was switching at times i was like that's the same I thing like i couldn't tell, tell the difference yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well wow. Wow. So, if you could assemble a board with either the three OGs or the three, well, you know, it, we it, did end up finding out for all yeah, of them, yeah, I mean, which says can, something still. You can spot them if you know them well enough. And we love all three of these, Classics, the originals, yeah. uh, and, and everything that's based on these three originals. So yeah. we're familiar with the circuits and we could tell. But honestly, I wasn't like 100% sure mm. this time, especially. Yeah. yeah, testament to the fact that it's really nice to be a guitarist, a guitar player yeah, nowadays yeah, yeah, and yeah, uh, have yeah. access to that kind of thing. It's perfect. I know I think there are two things that we didn't really learn because these are well-known facts. But the first thing is that, yes, it's, it's good to be a guitar player nowadays because you have amazing affordable you options. You heard it not here just, first. Not just the, you know, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's this for now yeah. and then maybe I can get the good stuff later. You can get away for life for sure. know, with, with the, the affordable ones. And the other thing is I think that if you ever feel like you want to bash on certain things being more expensive or per certain people choosing the more expensive stuff. It's like they have their reasons, like mm. just leave them be and just go for the more affordable one if you don't accept the fact to pay more for stuff because yeah, you really yeah. don't have to. I mean, oh. it's, it's just everyone has a reason for choosing whatever. And if someone wants an original clone and pays 5K, hey, 
there is probably a reason, at least one, if not two. <laughs> first, they can. Yeah, first, they can. It's a collectible <laughs> thing. And second, it does have a certain thing. It's, you know, whatever. So the moral of the story is pedals are good. Be <laughs> yes. good. Be, be good. And be happy. And be a pedal. Which one, uh, which one uh, was easier for, for you to say, nah. I, this is this is clearly different. This is this. This is that. Because it's a, it's always a different perspective through also, the YouTube. Also, what I want to see in the comment no, section no, is no, uh, no. any good reason for me to put this thing on his face. No. Uh, uh, <laughs> on these words. Bye bye. See you next time. <laughs> Wait. You need the guitar. Here. Here. This take it. Take it. This is this is the outtake. <laughs> this is the end of the video. Oh! <laughs> Quality playing. Quality playing. <laughs>